Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 33 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. This problem involves number sense and operations uh, concepts and uh, data analysis concepts involving average. So let's take a look at it. When I, when I approach a problem like this, the first thing I want to do is I just want to scan it over. And as I do that, I, I'm going to notice certain things. For example, we, we have a table about a table here. Sometimes tables are used for data analysis, and I see the words average come up twice. So maybe this involves uh, data analysis involving the average. Um, when we think of average, I want you to remember that's adding up all the values in a data set and dividing by the number in that data set. There's some percents, possibly a percent problem. We have a word problem here. An expression, so maybe this involves matching up the expression with the word problem, the actual question, and then a whole series of other expressions. So to understand this problem, you're going to have to be confident with interpreting expressions. For example, this one here, these values, whatever they represent, I'm going to be adding them up first, then doing, uh, then uh, finding, finding the sum of all of them before I divide by 7. So I have, you have to be able to read those expressions and make sure you do all those operations in the correct order. Okay, all right, so I scan it over. Now I'm gonna read it over. Use the table below to answer the question that follows. We have a table, quiz average is 83%, test average 79%, final exam 88%. The table shows Sabra's grades for a class. For our overall average, the test average counts twice as much as the quiz average. The final exam counts twice as much as the test average. To find her overall average, Sabra uses the following expression. This one right here. Which of the following is another way to find her overall average? And then we have uh, these options here. Now, I pointed out the word average appearing in the table. And look, it appears all throughout the question itself, three times there couple more times throughout the question. This really means that this is our central image. So let's look at the question and, and look at the expression, see if we can match up, it's even here too, see if we can match up how um, average fits into this problem. We're told that, you know, the, the, the test is twice as much as the quizzes and the final exam is twice as much as the test. So we, we give a value of 83 for one quiz and then um, she takes a, a, a test. Well, that test is worth twice as much. It's going to be weighed twice as much as the quiz. So that's where Sabra got 79 and two 79s because that one test is twice as much as that one quiz. And as far as the 488s, well, the final exam is twice as much as the test. So one test would be two 88s, but since it's twice as much, Since it's twice as much, it's going to be 488s that she's going to be adding to all those values. And, and there are my 88s there. So how many data points in our set? Well, if, we, if I did this correctly, and it's the exact same thing that she did, it looks like we have seven data points. If I wanted to find out the average score for her, for her uh, final, her overall average for the class, I'd be adding up all these data points, seven data points, and I would divide by seven. And that's what this expression is. It's the expression for the average overall uh, grade that she's getting on her exams and quizzes and tests. Okay, give a check if you got that. And this is modeling the idea of average, adding up all the data points, dividing by the number of data points. It says which of the following ways is another way, basically, to get to the average. And we look at our options here. Now, these can get a little overwhelming. Let's look at the correct answer, and let's just see if we can match up this correct answer with this expression, all right? They both, actually, they both say the same thing. They're just written in a slightly different way. 
we have parentheses and then we have brackets. And usually what this means is that we're going to do um, parentheses first and what goes on here and then continue out until we do everything that's inside the brackets before we do our multiplication. We got a little PEMDAS order of operations going on. But this is what this is saying is that I have two 79s. One here, one here. And I have four 88s. One here, one here, one here, one here. And we're going to be adding these values up just like we add them out here. This part of the expression is the exact, it's the expanded, it's the abbreviated form of this right here, right? This is sort of the expanded form and this is sort of the abbreviated way of writing it. But it's going to get you to the same total sum of all the uh, scores. Now when you're dividing by 7, whenever you divide by a number, divide by 7, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal in this case, this is 7 over 1. The reciprocal would be uh, 1 seventh. So when I'm dividing by 7, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal or 1 seventh. So this right here is the exact same as dividing by 7. So what we've done is we've matched up the different parts of each expression. And we can see that they're both equal meaning they're both going to get us the same answer. Um, so make sure you can do that matchup. Make sure you see how the order of operation sort of unravels so that you see that this is just sort of the condensed version of this and that you understand that dividing by a 7 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. You get that idea of working with reciprocals. And then the overarching idea is that we're, we're trying to find out the overall average. And when we're finding out average, it means adding up all the values in your data set and dividing by the number of data points there. Okay, this is a good problem, team. Take a look at it, work through it. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, team. I hope this helped.